Well, I'll tell you what. Night number one is upon us right here to 2017 PBR World Finals. And uh, a guy that you see on CBS Sports Network quite often on mic and, and talking. And we're doing it right here, Shorty Gorham, man. What a great weekend it's going to be right here to T-Mobile. Yeah, uh, just looking at looking at the way things are shaped up coming in here, it's going to be the best weekend in the history of the PBR. I think, you know, it's the tightest race in the rookie race, tightest race in the bull race, and tightest world title race, so how can it not be great? Well, let's talk about that because there hasn't, I mean, like you said, it's the tightest one in, in the history. Five guys under 500 points, that's literally a round and a half win it right here at the world finals to take over the number one spot yeah and you, you know you know all the, the things that can happen here so that it can it can change you know basically four different ways <laughs> throughout the weekend uh, before we'll know really what's going to happen but uh i'm excited i think all those guys that are that are that have a legitimate chance to win a world title i think they're uh, they're focused and they're they're riding good if they can just maintain doing what they've been doing the last few weeks mm -hmm. It's going to come down to the last bull, and I think even then it might be uh, one of those deals where there's more than two guys that got a chance at it. Who's your pick? Oh, I don't on, know. You, don't you can't scapegoat. Well, I, no. I mean, it's <laughs> it's one of those things that I don't know. You know, usually you got to figure it out. Usually coming in the World Finals, those last couple of weeks, somebody's starting to cave or somebody's really starting to climb or something like that, and it hasn't. It just hadn't happened. So it's super tough to make pick. But I'm going to have to go with the guy that uh, that I've gone with for a while now. Uh, tell everybody I got a case of the CTD. Mm -hmm. Cooper Todd Davis, yeah. I'm going to go with our reigning world champ and think he's going to pull it off again. Absolutely. And, you know, another guy that we need to keep an eye on is uh, Jess Lockwood. Absolutely. Vel Velocity finals mm -hmm. a couple days ago, he had a great three days at, over at the South Point, and he even climbed up one notch. And, uh, man, I, I don't know. You know, he's coming yep. on strong after coming back from injury. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm saying. You know, there's there's you usually see that. and. He kind of came on a little later than than uh, I expected him to, but yeah, he's one of those guys that's on a rise right now. And, and what a better time to be getting things on a roll than right here in Las Vegas? You know, it doesn't. Yeah, every bull matters throughout the season, but if you're on a roll in January, uh, I'd rather be on a roll right now versus a roll in January because you know the points are so much bigger here. Yep. And uh, the, the bulls are better, so you're going to be higher points on the bulls. And I I just think that. Uh, Whoever, whoever gets on that roll, well, I mean, obviously with 500 points separating them, whoever's on the roll here, it's going to be their, their game. Yeah. And let's talk about one of the races is kind of putting back, but it's still one of the tightest we've ever seen. Tanner Barbosa and Cody Teal, Rookie yep. of the Year. Yep. I, I, that's another one that's going to come down to Sunday, I think. No, no, less, no less pressure there, you know, and, and no less prestige either. That's a, that's a heck of an honor to be the Rookie of the Year in the PBR and, or any organization for that matter. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's, again, I don't, I don't know if I could pick one that's, mm -hmm. that's going to win that deal. Uh, um, I think denner has been riding really good right now, but I know what Cody Teal is capable of. Um, and uh, again, if he can get his stuff together right here, he could he could pull it out. But I think the favorite right now, uh, just coming off of, of the last few weeks, would be Denner. Yeah, and we've already crowned the stock contract of the year, Chad Berger. Mm -hmm. But uh, the world title race, Pearl Harbor Bruiser, that's another one because Pearl Harbor has been coming on, and you know Bruiser took some time, and Pearl Harbor took some time at different times. Yep. Late in the season, and they're both coming in healthy. If you follow social media, yep. These these buck and bulls are treated better than your ordinary house dog. Oh my that's, god! I mean, talk about that a little bit because there's a lot of misconception. I tell everybody, uh, if reincarnation is true, I want to come back as a buck and bull, and I, <laughs> I'm dead honest when I say that because they they do. You know, I mean, they they work less than two minutes a year. Uh, they get pampered. I was watching videos of HD Page out there giving uh, Bruiser and, and uh, some of his other bulls a bath today before they came to work, you know, and, and seeing they were doing uh, one of the Hell's Bulls. I watched a video where they were doing some, some electro shock mm -hmm. therapy to him. Um, they have chiropractors. They eat grain every day. They're fed the best hay in the world. And, and, and then if you're a really good bull, you get to spend the rest of your life after your performance life with the chicks. And they there. just bring them to you, and they keep bringing them to you. So what? tell me something bad about right? being a exactly. bucking bull. But uh, one of the things uh, you are talking about, the misconception, and something that I was actually giving a guy a tour earlier uh, in the week is the flank strap. And the misconception there is that it's where they tie the flank strap. And uh, a lot of people think it's on the, the you know testicles of the bull. 
tell them the same thing. Go home and grab your husband or your boyfriend or whatever and see if he jumps around. I bet he just stands there and goes, whoa, honey, what's going on? Uh, can't force these bulls to buck. You can't uh, hurt them to make them buck. The, the function of that flank rope is actually it goes in their flank area about the same t tightness as your belt um, and that, that their flank is ticklish like our armpits. When they kick, their midsection shrinks, so the tightness of that flank has to be loose enough that when they kick, it gets loose and that bull actually thinks they're going to kick it off. That's the only way it makes a buck. It's soft cotton rope, uh, nothing bad about it. You can put it around your neck, you can do whatever the heck you want to and it's not going to hurt you or it's not going to hurt an animal. And why would you want to hurt an animal like Bruiser that's probably worth, uh, I'd say maybe a million dollars or more? Um, I, I just couldn't see why you would you would find that necessary. So, Right on. You know, and so the pen tonight that these cowboys are going to face, I mean, we've got 40 of the best bull riders in the world, and this set of bulls that they're going to face tonight has given them grief mm -hmm. all year long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're going to, well, it's, the, there's not going to be a pen here that's not. You know, I mean, I think every night we're going to, you're going to see the best bulls in the world. And, uh, these are the young bulls, and they have had a hard time with these bulls because a lot of the bulls, they don't, the riders don't know their patterns, so... Um, they don't know exactly what the bull's going to do, and they're young, and they and they buck hard, and they're in a competition as well, you know, and these, these bulls are, um, I'm not sure what the payoff is uh, for some of these bulls, but I know, you know, in the past we've had bulls that have, that have at this age, won uh, close to or over a million dollars in their career, so it's a lot of money to be won with the bulls at this age too, and, and uh, but they're not easy on the guys. Absolutely, and it's going to be very interesting to see what happens Sunday afternoon, but we hope you're enjoying your live webcast brought to you by Midwest Rodeos. If you would like your event to be live webcasted, please contact us today by sending an email to midwestrodeos at gmail.com. Let's get away from the Built Ford Tough Series for a minute because you're wearing a hat. Yeah. And you're wearing a hat of a very cool organization that you're starting that's kind of going off and bringing back the American Freestyle. Talk mm -hmm. to us a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, just uh, American Freestyle bullfighting. What it is is mono y mono. You know, you, you turn one bull out, one guy, it's uh, 45 seconds of toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, action. And the object is is to see uh, how well you can control the bull, uh, the kind of risky moves you can make, the riskier moves you can make uh, complete. Uh, the more points you get, the closer you can stay to that bull, the hotter the bull is. So it's just like bull riding, the bull gets half the score. So you want the meanest bull and you want to be in as close and tight and uh, going toe to toe with this bull uh, for the for the 45 seconds and, and whoever's got the biggest guts and, and uh, it's it's one of the funnest things that you'll ever get to watch. It's it's uh, the neat thing about it I think though is that you don't have to be a cowboy to do it. All you have to do is be athletic and have uh, the fortitude to go out there and nod your head. There's Matt West right there. Matt West. Matt the. West. The. That, Come on that's up. not just Matt West. It's no, the. That's the Matt the West. The Matt West. Hey, hey guys. you never know what's going to happen here, Shorty. That's yeah. right. Awesome. How are you, Cowboy? Good, man. <laughs> hey, Good. since you're here, why not? Let's talk about what's happening here later on this week. Uh, you have a pretty cool thing that you announced uh, last week. What's yeah. going on? Uh, we're doing a. Yeah, we're there doing. Go. We're, <laughs> I got it. We're doing the. This is weird, huh? Isn't it? Yeah. We're get, doing get the, a little close. We're doing the first <laughs> annual Matt West Charity Cornhole Tournament to benefit the uh, Rider Relief Fund, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and Jared Allen's Homes for Wounded Warriors. Uh, this guy, as much as anybody in the world knows, uh, we've got a soft spot for our military men and women. So, and Jared Allen's partnership with the PBR, if it's perfect. Um, I'm a softy for all of our guys here, so the Rider Relief Fund, it just it made sense. So. It also gives us something to do that that isn't an hour outside of town. You know, it's easy in proximity to get to. Um, anybody can do it. I mean, even even you could do it. Me? Yeah. No way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> sure, you want to partner Anybody up? could then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he can do it. Anybody can do it. No, it's just gonna be fun. Yeah, That's fantastic. And I know that you uh, you got a big night ahead. Yeah, you like that. But yeah. Shorty picked Cooper. Come Sunday, mm -hmm. leaving a world champ. Yep. What's your pick? I've got it narrowed down to 40 guys. I bet you do. Good <laughs> answer. Tomorrow I'll I'll have it at 40. I'll tell you Sunday who I'm picking. Yeah. Spoken like a true announcer. Sunday yeah, afternoon. Right. I'll yeah, tell yeah. you Sunday evening probably. Sunday yeah. evening after things yeah. are all. I'll tell you after. during the short round who I'm picking. <laughs> Maybe. To everybody. <laughs> Maybe. To everybody. Everybody. All right. We'll do it on live or something. Let's do it. We'll do it Facebook live or whatever. Whatever right. you want to do, but I'll tell you sometime Sunday. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Matt West, Shorty Gorham, thank you guys so much for Appreciate spending it. some time oh, with can us. Can I have my mic back? Okay, here.
<laughs> well, night number one from the 2017 PBR World Finals is in the books, and the Rodeo Roundup Live is recapping all of your action from less than 24 hours ago, and what a great night of action it was. I'll tell you what, we had some fantastic rides, but nobody could beat the young phenom that we go by the name of Jess Lockwood as he makes a steady climb up the world title rankings with an 88 point ride but he wasn't the only one we had almost every one of the top five guys in the world make qualified rides eduardo aparecido fell off and kaiki pacheco fell off but that's okay it's we still got five nights to go and what a great world title race it's going to be Right after the round last night, I was able to catch up with your round one winner, Jess Lockwood, to see what he had to say. Night number one, 2017 PBR World Finals in the books. Right outside the beautiful T-Mobile, right after the press conference, with your round one winner, Jess Lockwood. Jess, what a great, really, last half of the season. You, you were plagued by some injuries, and you're coming back stronger than I've ever seen you. Yeah, um, you know, I feel great right now. Uh, Kind of was dragging butt coming back from my broken ribs and everything, but that velocity finals got my confidence up, and uh, that's all bull riding is. It's mental. Your body knows how to react to every single bull. You just gotta let your mind take over. Let's talk about that, because the first few rides back, does that have to get out of your mind saying, man, I know I'm coming in hurt, and I'm gonna be a little tentative, or do you just come in guns blazing if you hurt? Well, that's bull riding. Yeah, I don't ever think about being hurt too much. It's just kind of hard when you're hot, and then you have to sit out for three, four weeks, and uh, your body doesn't forget how to do it, but uh, it's just once you come back, you haven't rode for that long, so your, your muscles almost need to wake themselves up and remind you that you can do it. Absolutely. The tightest race that we've seen, top five guys within five un, under 500 points of each other. There's been a lot of speculation on whether those top five guys should have rode at the Velocity Tour Finals or not risk getting hurt and stayed healthy coming into the finals to go for it. You had a great Velocity Finals. What was your decision, thought process on actually going to be able to compete in that knowing that something could happen? Uh, you know, I had nothing to lose over there. Uh, my dad, me and my dad talked, yeah, you can get hurt, but you can get hurt anytime you nod your head on a bull. Um, if I get more points, great over there. If I didn't, uh, I got to get on some bulls and shake out some other cobwebs, but uh, I got on and I did good, so that's even better. Fantastic. And I, I did hear, hear through the grapevine, and I'm going to break it right here, that uh, come uh, hmm, next year we might have Lockwood number two in the PBR. Yeah, he's going to be 18 He's going to be 18, February, isn't he? Yeah. So, uh, he could be here at the PBR World Finals next year. You're not going to let your younger brother beat you, are you? you no, know, I'd be. I wouldn't. I'd be happy if he, if he did. Oh, see, I, there you go again. If someone else was going to beat me, I'd have it be him. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, round number one, 88 huge points. What a great ride, and you let this crowd on fire. We look to see you to do it again tomorrow night. Awesome. Thanks, right. Jason. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hitlin here, 2017 PBR World Finals with the Rodeo Roundup, and your man, the phenom, Jess Lockwood. Well, you can tell this young kid's mind frame is right where it needs to be to make a serious run for that world title. But one person that stands in his way is his traveling partner and best friend, Derek Kobaba. After round one last night, he still sits in the number one position in the world. Although it being less points ahead, he still retains that number one position. So this kid can get it done if he keeps riding with confidence. That's where we're at. Let's see what he had to say following his round one ride last night in, outside of the T-Mobile Arena. Well, night number one, 2017 PBR World Finals is in the books, and uh, Derek Kobaba, 
What a great run you've had. And <laughs> you know, you, you continue your hot streak here in round one, and you're making this world title race between you and the, really the top five guys in the world something that it, we've never seen before. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, you know, when you've got uh, a group of guys like that that, that all kind of have the opportunity to win. And, and uh, you know, especially with, with some good buddies like Jess and Cooper and, uh, you know, all, all those guys there. It's awesome to be a part of, and, and I'm excited to be here. Well, let's talk about that a little bit, because you and Jess, I mean, it, it goes way back that you guys are really close, and you guys used to travel together. We've seen you down at the stock yards together uh, earlier this year, and, you know, to, for him to win the round and you're the world number one, each of you say, you've told me, oh, uh, I'll just be plum tickled if he wins it. Oh, that's a bunch of BS. Oh, man. Come on. Shoot, you know, whoever rides best should win, and, and that's exactly <laughs> how it goes. And, and uh, I dang sure ain't going to get my foot off the gas, and I'm sure he won't either. And that's and that's exactly what I told everybody. Is, you know, those guys behind me, they are, they are not letting up, and uh, so I just got to do my best not to either. Absolutely. You know, coming into round number two, you're still the number one man, and uh, we look forward to seeing you. You got Kyle and Jennifer and your family here. You're, you're beautiful. Uh, can we say bride to be yet? Uh, is, that, is that too early? It is Vegas, I mean, you know. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> you're making enough money. You're going to be a million dollar cowboy on Sunday. <laughs> All right. Hey, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you around too, ladies you. and gentlemen. Your world number one, Derek Kobach. Well, Sage, I have a feeling you can do it. You know the exact right things to say, and I don't know what was happening behind that bucket and shoe, but for those of you that didn't, weren't watching the CBS Sports Network feed, him and J.B. Mooney were in serious conversation back behind that bucket and shoots later on in that round last night. So I don't know if he was just getting some words of wisdom or just having a good time, staying loose, staying fresh. J.B. Mooney comes out, first bull ride back, qualified ride. I don't know what's going to happen, and I can tell you not round number two later on tonight is going to be one, another one for the record books, and the Rodeo Roundup Live will be right here to cover all of the action live from the T-Mobile Arena right here in Las Vegas. All right, perfect. 2017 PBR World Finals, night number one is in the books, and well, <laughs> you make Thomas and Mac your house, I have a feeling... You're going to be making T-Mobile your house here pretty quick. Man, Vegas has always been good to me. <laughs> I'm I'm just so excited about the week. I really am. You know, what an opportunity to get to go to the Velocity Finals and now be competing over here at the PBR World Finals. It's a, it, it's pretty special, no doubt. You know, three-time PRCA World Champion. It's going to be very interesting if it comes down to Sunday afternoon and we can call you a PBR World Finals <laughs> event champion as well to add that to the resume. Not like you haven't had a hell of a year already. Yeah, no doubt. This year's been, you know, crazy, crazy blessed, no doubt. Um, it, it is wild, you know, when everybody talks about my year and then I get to thinking about, about you know, all the places that I have won, it's, oh man, it blows my mind. But um, yeah, you know, just a special year. It's been a really fun time and I really am. I'm just enjoying what I get to do for a living. Yeah, and does it make it easier with Alexis here watching <laughs> you so you know that she's here supporting you and and giving you that support that the whole entire Bloomer family really does too. Yeah, no, she's a she's always been, you know, my rock ever since we started dating. She's always been there for me and yeah, she's a special girl for sure. Awesome. One down, five to go. Are you going to make it a sweep of the finals? <laughs> I hope so, for sure. You know, I mean, bull riding is a game of, you know, centimeters and and milliseconds. So we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm feeling really good about my riding. Um, all the bulls out here buck really hard. So, absolutely. Yeah, you and know, you're, you're going to get one day at a time. I'll tell you what, you're looking strong. You're coming to the Velocity Tour. You're coming as an invite win net. Win and right here, and you are five more nights <laughs> right here. It's going to be awesome. All right, we'll talk to you later, Sage. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hentlin here, 2017 PBR World Finals with three-time PRCA champion, Sage Kinsey. <laughs>